Hey, what's going on, Cancers? Uh, Butch Terrell here. Gonna do your remainder of March read. Um, it is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe. Uh, and hit that little like button. And always feel free to comment down below. And let's get right into it. Universe, what do we have for Cancers? What is going on for Cancers? What is going on for Cancers? All right, Cancers. So the first thing I see, Cancers, is you're holding out for something. You're holding out for someone. Like, I get the sense that you get your walls up to any new opportunity because there's somebody that you want and you're waiting for that person. You're waiting for that person to reach out. You're waiting for that person to, you know, come toward you. I feel like this is somebody that you've wanted for a while. And you wanted to grow with this person. But you're waiting for them to take that. You know, you have a lot of fun with this person with that Sagittarius energy. A lot of fun. You know, a lot of good times. They make you laugh. You know, you're just waiting for them to come around and to make that offer. So you kind of got your walls up to anything else coming around you. You know, and I feel like, I feel like you already have a lot of feelings for this person that you're waiting for. And emotionally, you know, it's something that you don't want to walk away from. You know, emotionally you have fun, you know, emotionally you're connected to this person. You have a lot of fun with this person. They make you laugh. You don't want to give up on this person. But I feel like lately it's almost feeling like this is never really going to happen. It's like you're waiting for nothing. Now, what I see... Is this could be somebody that you work with, somebody you may go to school with, or it could be somebody that just is around you in general. You know, just a you know a casual friend, uh, somebody that you see fairly often. But like I said, I feel like lately you just you know you're getting a little bit antsy, you know, thinking that this may never really happen. Maybe you got your walls up and missing out op opportunities. I feel like, you know, there's so many different things going on. Um, you know, I just feel like you're in your head a lot lately with that Virgo energy. I feel like you're in your head wondering if this is the right call. You know, how long is too long to wait for somebody? You want more from this person and you're waiting for that, that to happen. But like I said, I feel like you know, you're not getting a whole lot of vibe that this is really going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, not a whole lot of forward movement here. So, like I said, that's got you in your head. Um, whether or not you should have your walls up to other opportunities. Maybe you should explore other opportunities. This is what this is why I get the sense that this is the headspace that you're in. But now, I feel like no matter how hard you try... You're not going to be able to shake this person. And that's why we have the Eight of Cups. Emotionally, you, you're not walking away from this person. The only thing that's, you know, is conflicting right now is the fact that you don't really see any forward movement. So it's almost like, you know, are you the only one that thinks about this person? Or do they think about you? Now, what the cards are telling me is this person does think about you. You know, they have a lot of love for you. They have a lot of caring. They're very caring. You know, and I feel like... I feel like they're going... Like, to be honest with you, I feel like they're making some changes in their life. That, you know, with that Six of Wands. They're trying to make some changes. I don't feel like you're going to be waiting. 
you know, much longer because I do see those changes that they're trying to make. I feel like they're, they're getting there and they're getting there quickly. You know, we have the world card. So I feel like that's going to come to an end. You know, they have a good time with you. They're emotional, you know, they're, they, they love you. And they want this to be more. But like I said, I feel like, I feel like they've been going through some changes and I feel like they're, you know, they're coming around. They're coming around, Cancer. I mean, I know, I know sometimes it, it feels like you're waiting forever and, you know, there's no real forward movement and it, and it gets frustrating. And I feel like that's where you're at. You know, you're frustrated. But I do see them reaching out. You know, I do see communication coming. So I feel like you, you know, let, you know, you've been trusting your intuition, holding on, waiting for this person. I feel like it's worth the wait. You know, I don't feel like, I feel like emotionally you can't walk away even if you wanted to, you know, um, you felt that magic in the air with this person and it's something that doesn't happen every day. So like I said, I feel like it's, it is going to come around, you know, they are going to come around. They do have love for you. They do want more from this. I do see you guys getting together with that two of, two of cups. But like I said, right now, Cancer, they're just going through some changes. They're dealing with some changes. You know, they have some things going on. Um, like I said, I feel like you have a good time with them. They have a good time with you. Emotionally, you're not walking away from this. And you shouldn't. You know, the universe is telling me that you've been trusting your intuition. And, and that's, that's the first step here. You know, no matter... I feel like... Maybe other people in your life are in your head telling you to move on, telling you to let go. And maybe that's just, you no. Know, that's part of the, that hermit mode is the fact that other people are in your ear. Um, but they don't know what you know. They don't feel what you feel. Trust yourself. Never trust what anybody else's opinion is because nobody else knows the whole situation. Even if, even if you could tell them everything that is to be told, they still don't know how you feel. They can't be inside you and feel how you feel. And like I said, this is all coming to an end. You know, this person is going to let you know. They're going to reach out and let you know they want they want to move forward here. You know, they're just coming to they're just trying to come to you correctly here. And with that, like I said, you know, we got good fortune. A lot of good fortune coming. And we also have the sun card. Best card in the deck. All about happiness here. You know, like I said, you're going to have some new, some new forward movement here. Um, like I said, I feel like you patiently waited and I feel like that was the right thing to do. You know, and I feel like there is times where you're going to have those moments where you're going to feel like, what am I waiting for? Am I waiting? For, like, is there a reason to wait? I'm here to tell you that there is definitely a reason to wait. You know, this person is going through some changes, but how they feel about you hasn't changed. They still want more from you. And they are coming back and they are going to reach out to you. You know, and like I said, I feel like sometimes we're in that situation where we're like, we're waiting for a person. We don't know exactly how they feel. So it's almost like we're waiting. It's kind of like a risk. Taking a risk. Waiting for something that may never happen. Well, I'm here to tell you, like I said, you, this is going to come back, you know. They, this is coming to an end. This waiting period is coming to an end. You're not going to have to wait much longer here. I feel like in the next two weeks, they're going to reach out to you. Like I said, with that eight of wands. Good fortune. And the sun card. So, I mean, you don't get much better than that. I feel like this is worth the wait. End of the day, cut and dry. This is worth the wait. Your intuition was right. You followed it. And just see it through. And like I said, even if you walked away from this, even if there's some reason you decided to walk away and, and let your walls down to other people coming towards you, emotionally, you're not walking away from this person. So, I mean, I'm not saying to, you know, sit back and, 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 and spend all your nights alone waiting for this person. You know, I'm just saying that this person brings a lot of love. 
They have a lot of love for you. I do see a lot of good things coming with you. You know, you two as a partnership. Um, I feel like you've waited this long and I feel like your intuition wasn't lying to you. So like I said, you know, you should never have your your, your walls up to other people. Um, you know, shutting other people out. Maybe you're gonna miss an opportunity. And, and sometimes that's what happens. But I feel like in this case, you know what you want. You're willing to wait for it. Um, you know, the wait isn't going to be much longer. I do see this, this this coming, you know, to pass here. I do see that communication coming. You know, I see them making some changes. And I feel like that's what's kind of got them a little bit distant. Um, you know, and I, and I feel like it's personal changes. Personal changes that they need to deal with. To be better and they want to be better for you but that's what i have for you cancer um be good take care stay safe